What's up guys, so I've got a supercar video for tonight, it's like 40 minutes long, but before that gets posted up, there's some major news out right now for Supercard's one year anniversary, they just announced that they're coming out with WWE Supercard Season 2, now this isn't a separate game, it's just a major update to the game. So, let me go ahead, quickly read the, the announcement, the article that they just posted up. And on the screen, you'll see a screenshot of what I'm seeing. And then I'll show you some pictures of the new look for the cards. So, we're stoked to announce Season 2 of Supercard. Season 2 is a massive and free update to the core WWE Supercard experience that introduces a brand new look, customizable cards, an enhanced King of the Ring mode, an additional diva and exhibition decks, and a deeper roster of talent that spans both WWE and NXT. Seasons are bigger, better than updates, their new competitive periods that introduce sweeping features that you've requested. You ask for more strategic diversity and customization, more cards and enhanced modes, and more divas in the playing field. With Season 2, we're delivering on all of this. So, just from reading that, it looks like we're gonna we're gonna have Divas Tag Team matches. Now, previously in Season 1, Divas Tag Team matches were strictly for the Road to Glory. And now it looks like in the usual exhibition mode, you're going to get to have Divas Tag Team matches and possibly in the King of the Ring mode as well. So, it's not over. Season 2 cards. And it all starts with the cards. Season 2 cards support a variety of features that their Season 1 counterparts don't have. One of these new features is customization. As you train your S2 cards, you'll receive tokens... Tokens can then be used to level up any rating slot. For example, if you want the highest power John Cena Legendary card on the block, you can use up to 4 tokens to level up his power rating. If you want a more balanced John Cena, just spread your tokens across the card's rating slots. When you combine 2 S2 cards that have been customized via tokens, that card's pro form reflects those changes then, as you train the card, you'll, you'll receive even more tokens to fully customize your card. We're also adding enhancements to the fold. You can equip up to 5 multi-charge enhancement on S2 cards, one for each rating slot, and one for a card special ability. When you use an enhancement on a rating slot, that rating is automatically boosted whenever an event in a match calls for that stat. When you use an enhancement on an ability, that ability gains the stat of whatever enhancement you used. For, the, for instance, if you use the power boost on a charisma ability, that ability becomes power plus charisma ability until all the charges are used. Additionally, as you play with Season 2 cards through matchups, your cards will automatically level up their skills courtesy another feature Play levels, different tiers of cards support different amounts of play levels, all of which permanently increase a card's overall strength. So, reading that, first off, you're going to get to really customize your cards. You're going to get to choose, hey, this John Cena card needs more power, you know, it doesn't make sense that he has more charisma, so let me fix that and let me level up his power more. You know, one complaint... Uh, that I specifically had, not just me, but a lot of people had, was that the cards, just a lot of the cards, didn't have accurate stats. Why is it that the Miz's highest stats for a lot of his cards is power and, and speed? Like, it sh when it should be charisma, and I guess then afterwards, speed. It should definitely be, char charisma should be higher than his power. He isn't, like, some powerful dude. So now, you're gonna get to, to fix that. You're going to get to customize your card the way you want it. So when you go ahead and face off against somebody else that's got the same card, it won't actually be the same exact stats. He might have higher toughness while you might have higher charisma. So so that's pretty cool. You know, custom I'm I'm always, you know, for customizability. I'm always for options. So that's good especially, you know, when you feel the stats for a certain superstar aren't really reflective of him on WWE TV, you know, or aren't realistic like the Road to Glory Roman Reigns one. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool. You know, you're going to get to use all these tokens on, you know, any stat you want, whether it's power. And also, you're going to get to boost the actual special abilities of the cards. 
Um, this is something we've never been able to do, but also the tokens, the whole tokens thing, we haven't been able to do that either. But this is, this is interesting here. So I noticed in the example they gave us, they said, if you use a power boost on a charisma ability, that ability becomes power plus charisma. So they, they, the example they gave is, they say, what if a card only has a charisma ability? But for the longest now, since the games, you know, started, we've always had, the special abilities have always boosted two stats. Not one, but yet, in the example they're giving us here, they're saying that a card could have just one ability boost for their special, you know, ability or whatever. So I'm wondering if we're going to see that, like cards like Brock Lesnar, maybe his special ability only boosts up his power. But in the pictures I'm looking at right here for, for the new cards, I'm going to show you guys the picture uh, in just a few moments. I, I see two special abilities getting boosted. I see, for instance, Brock Lesnar, he gets a boost in power and toughness. So maybe this is just an example and it'll remain two uh, stats that get boosted through your special abilities. So, moving on. Loyalty Program. Season 1 of Supercard will still be available after the Season 2 update, but Season 1 cards are ineligible for play against Season 2 cards. Your S1 cards, however, are your cards, you can keep playing them in Season 1 exhibition matches, or in King of the Ring mode. It's your call. Season 2 Special Fusion Chamber does offer a way to convert your legendary and above S1 cards into S2 cards. By using recipes that the game provides, you can fuse eligible S1 cards into super rare and ultra rare versions of the same card. For example, if you put a Survivor John Cena card into the chamber, you'd receive a Season 2 John Cena card with the same image from the Survivor card. I want to talk about this in just a few moments, but let me continue on. You can also use common through Epic S1 cards to get enhancements for S2 cards or train S2 cards. So you can use them for option 1 or option B. Regardless of what S1 cards you have, they all have value towards Season 2. And then they say, here's a handy image that displays how this works. Um, clicking on the image, but for some reason it's not working. So <laughs> I guess it's because maybe there's a lot of people on the server or whatever. They're looking at the page, something like that. Or for, for some reason, the image doesn't work. So let's go over the whole loyalty program section. So first off, it looks like now they're going to have, or not now, but once this update is out, that the game is going to be separated into two parts. Well, from what I read, that's, that's what it looks like it's going to be. Um, one part where it's season one, where you're playing just like you're playing right now with your season one cards against people who have season one cards and you're going to be able to play the usual exhibition mode with those cards and King of the Ring. And the other section where it's season two, where you get to play, you know, exhibition matches and King of the Ring mode with your season two cards. And also they're going to have this new fusion chamber. Now regarding this fusion chamber... It doesn't look like you're going to get the exact same card, but with the new look, if you go ahead and put that card, that Season 1 card, in the Fusion Chamber. Because just reading what they said here, it says, By using recipes that the game provides, you can fuse eligible S1 cards into Super Rare and Ultra Rare versions of the same card. See, they don't mention anything about getting a Survivor card out of it or a Legendary card out of it. They strictly mention that you can fuse your S1 cards into eligible, or actually fuse eligible S1 cards into super rares and ultra rare versions of them in season two. Uh, and in the example that they gave us, they said that you could put a Survivor John Cena card into the chamber, and out of it, you'll get another John Cena card, but this time a season two John Cena card with the same picture as the Survivor card. They did not say that you get a Survivor version of the John Cena card in Season 2 as well. So, it definitely looks like whatever tier you're in right now in Season 1, that's not going to directly translate into Season 2. So, if you're currently in the WrestleMania tier, that does not mean that you're going to be at that WrestleMania tier in Season 2. Uh, of course, this is 
me going by what I'm reading here, what I'm seeing, but, but it definitely looks like that's the case. And it also looks like the minimum for you to get another version of the card or a season two version of your S1 card is that it has to be a legendary or a buff card in season one because they also note that you can also use a common through epic season one card to get enhancements for season two cards or to train season two cards. So you can use those to get the enhancement that go ahead and boost up or, you know, add another um, writing to your special ability. Uh, so, or, you know, you could use that cards, like they said, to also train your S2 cards. So, whatever you have in S1, you can use in some way to benefit from it in Season 2. The thing is, though, I think, just looking at the pictures of the brand new cards, I think it tops off, when it comes to Season 2, it tops off at Legendary once it comes out because in the pictures they're only showing four legendary cards the legendary nikki bella legendary brock lesnar the rock and john cena and with the fusion chamber for the s2 converting your s1 cards into uh, at the most an ultra rare version of the same card it, it definitely looks like maybe we won't get the survivor tier and wrestlemania tier just yet in season two but once again, this is just speculation. This is me going off from what I'm seeing and what I'm reading here. So, yeah, this is these are some pretty big changes. Um, when you guys check out my my supercar video tonight, you'll see me speculate about the changes. And I did mention that hey, maybe they're coming out with like a new supercard game. And this isn't a new supercard game, but it is, I guess, as close as you can get to a new game. I guess you could call it. An expansion to the game um, I will put the the cards they have here on the screen you've got legendary Nikki Bella Brock the rock John Cena and you can see right away on the cards that right above each stats so power speed toughness and charisma there's a circle an empty circle and right below their special abilities you've got a black square Kind of a square, actually it's not really a square, uh, but you've got some empty spots there, uh, and those look to be, I mean it has to be the multi-enhancement spot, so let's see you put a multi-enhancement spot on Brock Lesnar's speed, then I guess that would light up, and if you put it in the, um, the empty spot there right below the special ability, that's going to boost his special ability with whatever multi-enhancement you're using. So, multi-enhancements, basically, it looks like it's like their new version of support cards. Support cards on steroids, you're going to get to boost their stats and their special ability with those multi-enhancements. Um, and as far as... It looks like they have the same triangles. Brock is still a upwards yellow triangle. Uh, Nikki Bella is a right blue triangle. Seems like they're all, they're all the same. At least the ones we're looking at right now. Now, something I did notice right away. If you look right above their finisher, it says that the max level is 20. Now, that's a big, big change. I don't know if it's slower uh, to level up the cards in Season 2. But in Season 1, to max out a Legendary card, you had to get it to level 40. So that's half the levels right there. So if it's the same, if it's uh, if it's not like slower or whatever, you're going to max out your cards a lot quicker in Season 2. But who knows? The uh, leveling up process might be longer, might be twice as long as season one so then it'd be pretty much the same thing despite the max level being half of what it was in season one well we'll have to see once the season two update rolls out but uh, yeah i'm excited for it guys uh seems like there's a lot of needed changes uh supercard has been needing a big change for a while it's been the same for a long time now now it's been a year for a year it's been the exact same they, they have added you know a bunch of cool modes like the ring domination but i'm looking forward to this change and i i'm kind of you know a little bit disappointed that they didn't add a trading feature you know where you could trade cards 
and also have some questions, you know, like what's going to happen with the WrestleMania, the, the event cards that we have, the PCC cards, the Road to Glory cards, and the Ranked Domination cards. Are we going to get stronger cards out of them if we go ahead and switch them out or use them in the Fusion Chamber for Season 2? Or are we going to get the, you know, just a normal Ultra Rare card in Season 2 for putting our Road to Glory PCC cards in the Fusion Chamber? Uh, I'm hoping those of us that do have, you know, some event cards that we do get slightly stronger cards than if we were to use just normal versions of those cards. So that's about it. Let me know what you think about Supercard Season 2. Like I said, personally, I'm excited about it. And bring it on. I want to see when it comes out. They haven't posted a release date or anything like that. They just said it's on the way. So hopefully it's not too far away. And stay tuned for tonight's Supercard video, guys. It's like 40 minutes long, and it was recorded before this announcement. So you're going to see me speculate a lot about what the announcement might be about. And let me know in the comments what you think about this announcement, what you think about Season 2 of Supercard. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm out. See ya.